Bear Bear, are you ready? Yep. Let's hit it, little papa. We're going to go to McDonald's and tell, tell you guys some facts. Oh, no, I think I forgot the facts. You got the facts? Yep. Let's hit the road. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Is it time for lunch? No, even better, it's time for the Thompson Special! The Thompson Special? Let's go! Get our seatbelts on! Let's get it! I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. From the 90s. It was cool. Maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. We're in the roundabout. Ah! Welcome to the Thompson Special. We did our first episode, which was a camping episode. The camping episode, I think, the only mystery to the camping episode was we never got any video of us at nighttime. But we actually did sleep out there all night, so... Yep. Hopefully you guys get encouraged to go out there too. What are we doing today, Bear? What's the yeah. what's the skinny and the thick of it? We're going to McDonald's. We're going to go to McDonald's. Bear, why did you pick McDonald's to be one of the first restaurants we go out to eat at? Because a lot of people owe the oath to go and visit. <laughs> you got that right. And I think it's a popular favorite. It, I think it is a favorite of people. Even the people who act like they don't like McDonald's. Yeah, you do. There's something weird about it. You can't get away from it. Is it the gooey chicken nuggets that turn and form into four different shapes? I don't know. Is it the hamburgo? The ham burglar. I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it the funny Ronald McDonald? Ronald McDonald. Who would have thought a clown named Ronald was the way to go? I don't know. I'm going to let this guy go out. I don't know if he wanted to go a different direction. Bear, you have mm -hmm. a list of facts. Yeah. Facts I... about McDonald's. Uh, also, side note, before he no. starts, we're going to go to what I'm pretty sure is the oldest McDonald's in the greater Port Huron area, which is the one on Pine Grove, like Hancock and Pine Grove. That's the first one I remember going to. I may be wrong. I don't know. This guy just pulled out in front of me. We're going to stop. An opening one. factoid. Let's see. McDonald's was opened in 1940. 1940 and that's 20 less than 17 no 16 years from now a hundred years ago two sure i okay. say drop the fact bomb on them right now okay so so some of the mcdonald's has one arch yes one arch <laughs> i just hit a bird a bird just flew into our car. That's sad. One arch. Some of them, there's only a handful of McDonald's on the entire earth that still have one arch. There's like 12 of them. 12 of them? The rest have the double arch. So oh. if you see a one arched McDonald's, you're at one of just a handful. So that's, mm -hmm. that's a special place maybe. So how are you doing today? You know, I'm pretty good today. We just got out of church, um, headed over, get some lunch with my bro. I think today is a good day. How are you doing today? Good. All right. Good. Okay. Where did they get a idea of a Grimace shake? The Grimace shake? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where they got an idea for Grimace. Whoever their marketing team was back then, was wild because you had a clown to be the front the face of your whole establishment it was a weird clown named Ronald mm -hmm. then you had a giant purple blobby thing named Grimace and then you had the Hamburglar which was a guy who stole everybody's hamburgers but everybody kind of liked him still which I don't get that and then they made the Grimace shake a purple shake mm -hmm. which I don't know that I've ever had. 
Here's something for you. You know I've never eaten a Big Mac in my entire life. You haven't? Nope. I was such a picky eater when I was a kid. I couldn't bring myself to get involved with that special sauce. I didn't know what was in it, and I didn't want to be a part of it. I think I just decided at this point in life there's no reason to. Ever think they're going to bring Ronald McDonald back into the scene? Well, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. What's the most chicken nuggets you've ever eaten at one time? Um, I don't know. Ten? Ten piece. I'm not going to lie to you, I put away a twenty piece in my in my teen years. Wow. Just smashing those things. And sweet and sour sauce? Always. Mm. Try to steer clear of it now. But I'll eat it. Okay. Reserved for heroes. That's not us. Um, let's go in this parking spot over here. I mean, there was a time when I was considered a frontline hero. Mm -hmm. But I think we're, I think the whole of society is over that idea. Why? Okay, we're walking in. We're here at the Golden Arches. Oh, where's the front door in this place? We're going to order at the kiosk. This is where we're at nowadays. Or do you want to order right up at the front? Uh, let's order at this. What do you want to go with today? Burger, um, nuggets, chicken sandwich? Um, a chicken sandwich with some fries. I'm going to do a spicy chicken sandwich with fries. Mm -hmm. Arnold Palmer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And here are some other facts. Do you want me to tell you why Ronald and McDonald got fired? It was actually pretty funny, again. Ronald McDonald got fired because he was too fat. <laughs> the guy they had for Ronald McDonald for the TV stuff, his name was Scott. And they fired him because they said he was a little too chubby. Yeah. Also, they say too fat. Too fat. Yeah, baby. Bear, do you want to round up mm -hmm. 64 cents for the Ronald McDonald House charities? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do it. Even Holy though. Holy crap, you guys seen this? $18 McDonald's. Wow. Thing. We might have to sit. Let me tell you some more facts. The Queen of England owned a McDonald's. Are you kidding me? The Queen of England owned a McDonald's? Yeah, she's the King of England. Hello. So now it's she's died by now. Rest so the peace. It's the King of England. King Charles. So is he the Burger King? Donald, so Ray, so Ray, Ray, was the guy's name Ray? Ray Croc. Yeah, because he bought it off the two brothers. Yes, yes, and he had a friend that was in Disneyland. Disneyland, he knew Walt Disney, and he tried to get a McDonald's in, Walt, in Disneyland. Never happened, never went through. They wanted to charge too much money. For the burgers and the food. Classic Disney, am I right? I know. No. McDonald's is the biggest restaurant. It's the biggest restaurant. It's the biggest restaurant chain in the world. If you live in the United States, you're always 150 miles away from a McDonald's. Within a couple hours, anyone in the United States could be at a McDonald's. I don't know if that's good or bad, if I'm honest about it. Anyways, over. 70 million people eat at, at McDonald's every day. 70 million people? Over 70, Over 70 million. million people. Well, guess what? Make that 70 million in two because we're here today. Hey, Dad, do you think if it will ever, ever have a new actor for Ronald McDonald's? I don't know if the clown is ever going to have a comeback. I don't think uh, I don't think people are too into clowns. Oh, let's go. Thanks for the photo. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Right? If we swapped out for like uh, anything else, can we get a refill? Or? It's just because it's lim uh, the lemonade in it. Yes. All right, perfect. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Okay, why'd you go with the chicken sandwich, girl? Because I really like it. It's a fair answer. Okay. Like the video right now or else you will make
making the chicken sandwich is sad. Nobody wants a sad chicken. I'm gonna say these are on point today. Fun fact, if you uh, order an Arnold Palmer at McDonald's because they have like real lemonade now, they're not gonna give you a free refill on that. Apparently it costs them too much. I guess the $18 for this food wasn't quite enough for another half a cup of lemonade. If anybody at McDonald's is watching this, please send it up the flagpole. Do you think you'd ever want to be Ronald McDonald? Oh, uh, I feel, no. Grimace? Uh, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know even what, give us it. Nobody does. I wonder if we should have looked that up. Like what, yeah, what is Grimace? I'm actually almost wondering if we're at the wrong McDonald's right now. I don't know if this is beautiful to sit down in the area. Do you want to work at McDonald's one day? Um, I'll, let I you, do. I'll let you finish chewing. Um, I do, and I want to be my first job. If you got a job at McDonald's and Waddles, you could ride your bike to work. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm just watching you eat that chicken sandwich right now. It was wild. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm watching a raptor eat a pig. We, we may have to fast forward through that. <laughs> oh, God. When you're hungry, you're hungry. Why don't we take a drink and rinse some of that down? I never worked at McDonald's. I have to be honest, my first, my first job was uh, Big Boy Express. It was like a fast food Big Boy restaurant in the Birchwood Mall. Justin, hmm. what will you be the next actor for Ronald McDonald? I think I could do it. Like, how do you uh, take a clown seriously when you're trying to buy a burger? What's the point of a clown? I don't know. Can we do it, I guess? I guess so. What do you think about the McDonald's French fry? Well, it's good, all right. Fries are hot. They're on point. You ate that chicken sandwich so fast. I almost can't believe it. Uh -oh. You used to do that. Let's get out of that okay. <laughs> We would take you somewhere absolute crap. I don't know what you used to do. What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. That's a move that all parents do. Okay? We act like we're going to do something different. We're not. Because we had a plan to come here and eat. Let's go, parents, am I right? Mm -hmm. um, so, what's your favorite? When you come to McDonald's, do you have like a go to situation or do you mix it up all the time? I like to eat a chicken sandwich with pies, baby. Yeah, baby. I'm always, a, I'm pretty much always a spicy chicken. If it's not a spicy chicken, it's gonna be a double quarter pounder, no onions, no nonsense on my burger. Always extra pickles on everything. Wow. Always french fries. If you order chicken nuggets, I would try to eat them. You sweet and sour sauce or no? Right. No. I'm always sweet and sour sauce. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bear, thank you for the, looking up the facts on McDonald's. I feel like you educated the population. Um, first of all, you looked up the facts and I wrote them down. Okay, teamwork. You can thank me for looking them up. Mm. I'm waiting. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Cheers to McDonald's. Um, mm. McDonald's, keep it up. Yeah. You're doing okay. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> to McDonald's again. Okay. okay. So like the video and subscribe. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit the like button. Now, let's end this. You See doing you. It? Yeah.